And now here's a very basic introduction to the idea of compound interest. Think of it this way. If you borrow money, you have to pay interest. So if you loan someone money or put it in a bank, your money earns interest. And if you have your money in the bank for a long time, you get the benefit of compound interest. And this is what this means. After the first year, you've earned some interest. So you have more money in the bank than you had at the beginning because you earned the interest. That additional money, that interest that you earned, is also sitting in the bank the following year. In addition to the original principal, the interest from the first year is also sitting there the second year. So there's more money during the second year earning interest. The interest from the first year also earns interest for the second year. So at the end of the second year, you have some extra money in there. And if you leave the money in there for the third year, the extra interest you earned both years is sitting in there earning more interest. So the money grows over time and it grows at a faster and faster rate because it's getting larger and larger and each year there's more and more money there earning interest. So we'll do a calculation here that shows the, how the interest compounds for a couple of years. Okay, you deposit $12,000 in the bank in a bank account that pays 4.5% interest. How much money do you have in the account after two years? And when you're given an interest rate like this, 4.5%, it's generally assumed that that's an annual interest rate. So it's 4.5% interest yearly. So we're going to do this calculation in two steps, the first year and the second year. Okay, the first year, you're earning 4.5%, and it's $12,000 that's earning that 4.5%. So we need to calculate four and a half percent of twelve thousand and that's pretty easy to do that will be point oh four five times twelve thousand and that comes out to be five hundred and forty so at the end of the first year you have your original twelve thousand plus the five hundred and forty then that equals obviously twelve thousand five hundred and forty dollars so you have more money at the end of the first year than you started with now the second year now this gets interesting the second year your money is still earning interest at a rate of four and a half percent but there's more money in there earning interest the second year you're gonna collect in interest four and a half percent of the 12,450, I'm sorry, 12,540. So we need to calculate that. So 0 0.045 times 12,540. And when we do that, it comes out to be $564.30. So we earned more interest. Look at this, this number, 564.30, is a larger number. That's more interest than we earned the first year. The first year we only earned 540. We earned more the second year because there was more money in the bank the second year. The first year we only had $12,000 in there, but because of the interest earned the first year, during the second year we have more money earning interest, so we have more interest earned. So now at the end of the second year, we take the amount of money we had at the beginning of that year, which was 12540 and we add the interest earned for the second year, which is 56430 And that's how much money we have at the end of two years. It comes out to $13,104.30. And if we were to leave the money in there for a third year, it would grow more and grow at a little bit faster rate because there's more money in there. And that would continue over time. If you leave the money in there a long time, it grows more and more and at a faster and faster rate. The, um, the unfortunate thing is you're not likely to get rich off of this. Even if you put money in the bank and let it sit there for a hundred years, what happens is the government taxes you on the interest earned. So you don't really get the benefit that, that you get that, it, that shows up in these calculations because some of that you have to pay out in income tax. And then also because of inflation, the purchasing power of the dollars erodes over time 
So you end up with more money, but over time, each of those dollars ends up being worth less and less. So it's really hard to make money just by earning interest like this unless you can find some phenomenal pay rate of interest.